Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. I just did my blitz warm up and hey, let's let's see what happens today. All right, the bishop's opening. So for that, I remember I like to bring out this knight to pressure the pawn. Good. And um yeah. Here we go. So this is basically the Italian at this point. It is basically the Italian. Now, I need to bring out my bishop. Push this pawn. And go after this guy. Assuming my opponent doesn't play c3. Uh, you never know. Okay. Continue the plan. Continue the plan. Oh, yes. We get to do it. We're going to chase this guy. Now, usually what people do is they give a check. Oh, all right. Never mind. <laughs> Great. Now, right before I castle. By the way, guys, what is that knight doing? Let's think about that for a moment. Is he planning to come here? Oh, does he want to pin my knight and then get a double attack going? You know, I bet he does. Let's head that off before I castle. I have a feeling that was going to be his next move. Ooh. He's... He might still be doing it. Okay, interesting. Okay. So, you know what? Maybe it's not a good idea to castle short, but on the same hand... Or on the, sorry, on the other hand... We've opened up the A file, so if I castle long, that seems a bit wild as well. Hum. I could just bring my queen up, but that blocks my bishop. If he goes here... If he goes here, I just take. I'm not pinned. That was the whole point. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. So, yeah, I can just take if I need to. Therefore, we're going to bring our bishop out instead. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Trading off is probably not a big deal. I would think. If I drop back... Then he has to castle. But I'm still going to get down here and win a pawn. Aren't I? So let's look at this one more time. I drop back. He takes... We open up here. He's kind of forced to take. I mean, he could develop his knight, but that would be kind of weird. I capture. Now, if he moves his, his, his knight to the center, then we just give a check and we win the rook. So he's not going to do that. You know what? It seems good. Let's, let's allow him to trade. And we, we're going to get our queen. Yeah, because we're winning an open file. I should be okay, right? All right, guys. I'm still debating whether I shouldn't just start pushing pawns and I can cast along if I need to. Uh, it's, well. I really don't know. I'm yeah, forget it. Let's play conservatively, guys, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Do we want to play C five? Mm, not really. Oh. 
Oh, guys. Hello. I need to play d5. Next move. We push. If he takes, we hit the queen. That should be good. Okay, now he's got one, two, three defenders. I've got one, two, three. Or sorry, three attackers. I've got three defenders. I can still push. I can still push. Here we go. So if I push the pawn. Oh, now this is different because if we trade, he gets the open file. I'm going to do it anyway. I feel like this is the move. He's got three attackers, but I have three defenders, so I'm going to essentially win the battle. And if he doesn't, then I can... Well, I mean, this is kind of forced because I'm going to take something. He either needs to move one of these guys or trade. All right. Now... Again, pretty forcing, because if I, if I grab that guy, he has to capture with the pawn because of my bishop. Oh, wait, that would, that would open up a battery right next to my king. I don't know if that's a great idea. I think most people's instinct here would be take with the knight. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Hmm. So what changed here? Well, I can get my bishop here and pin the knight. It's only pinned to a pawn, but that is a nice square for my bishop. Hmm. Is there any trickiness here? Like, okay, if I take, he's going to take... He's hitting my pawn. Yeah. Knight here. And... I don't think he's going to push a pawn. If he does, that would be good for me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He might... He might just take and win a pawn. So that's no good. Now, we have to remember that this pawn is pinned. Hmm. I kind of like this idea of just pinning the knight. Let's, let's do that. It feels reasonable. It also defends this pawn, I'm realizing. So, double good. Now, I could be... Ooh, okay, yeah, well, we can't ignore that. That is pretty clear. Hmm. I can just... I can just bring my queen right here, though. Defending the pawn... Double attack on this pawn. That seems promising and probably better than hanging out over here, right? So let's do that. Let's defend our pawn. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Now he can attack me. Oh. Oh boy. If I take here, we're threatening this fork, so he has to do that. He has to capture the knight before he does anything with the bishop.
right? That was a very nice move. His knight came out of nowhere. I thought he might attack my queen, but this is this is kind of good as well. All right, I'm going to I'm going to do it. Let's let's go here. Maybe he makes a mistake. Seems unlikely. Okay. Now I have to drop back. Oh, if I drop back, He's going to put his rook here, double attack on my bishop. Okay. So now I'm thinking I need to drop back right here. I lose the pin. Oh man, too late. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, pin the knight. That is so risky. Okay, so now I just need to push this pawn and I win. But how do I how do I move my queen in the best way is the question. Hmm. We can also pin this pawn. Okay, so check this out. Rook here. I drop a pawn. Whoops. I take the knight. And after all of it, if, if he ever recaptures with this pawn, we win the bishop. Um, yeah, I kind of want to keep this pawn here because I want to eventually push this pawn. So let's do that. Oh, shoot. But if he takes with the pawn, it hits my queen. Oh, man. Now he's two pawns up. So let's see. I go here. I attack this pawn. And the knight is still pinned. Okay, this is good. This is good. I shouldn't have moved my rook. I should have done this because it attacks that pawn. Now, if he sees the danger and he moves his queen, we do the other plan. Like, if he goes here... Oh, wait. Then he can capture with the knight. No, no, no. Then I take... Yeah, okay, good. I think we're going to win a piece here, guys. I dropped this pawn because the pawn is now pinned and I'm not defending. Oh, my gosh. Okay, he misses it. So here we go. We simply take. We simply take. He guarded the pawn. He missed the real danger. So if you take with the pawn, I immediately grab the bishop. If you take with the queen, we trade queens, and then I grab the bishop. So we are winning. We have won a piece, but he's got two pawns for it because I dropped this. But you know, it worked out. I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to the game review to see if this plan made any sense. Now, he's got to do something here, because his queen is being attacked. He either needs to move the queen or grab the bishop.
Okay, queen's off the board. That, oh my gosh, is he going to beat me with these pawns? Oh no. Dude, that is really depressing. I, I honestly can't believe it. He's going to... He's going to have three pass pawns. I'm probably losing this game. That is hard to believe that I did all that work. Now, I am going to scoop up these pawns. I don't think he can save them. He's beating me. He's got a material advantage. That is insane. That is actually crazy. Because... Huh. I should probably bring my king over this way, huh? Oh my god, I don't know what to do here. Um, okay, let's go here. Now, he can't push this pawn. He can't push this pawn. I mean, he's going to lose something, and if he moves his rook... Then I grab that pawn. So I think I'm okay here. I think, I really hope that my bishop and rook working together can stop two pawns. Seems like they should be able to. Okay, we're going to chase this rook away. Oh, wait, why don't I just put my rook here? Then I have a double attack. Thought of it just in time. Just in time, guys. Holy smokes. Okay, so if I take with the rook, I think that's forcing a rook trade. If I go here, oh, if I take with the rook, he can push this pawn, which should be okay. Let's see. Take, push pawn, take block and we should have an easy game take let's see if i go here this kind of if i go here he can give me a check but then i go here he's gonna attack these pawns no, I just pushed the pawn, and my bishop is defending. Oh, then he's got... No, he can't ever push that. I just take. Um, I'm going to try it this way. This feels like the fastest. It also cuts off the king, so the king can't come closer. Go here. Yeah, we need to stop that pawn. <gasps> what? Okay. Delay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, if I go up here, he's going to push this pawn, isn't he? Um, Uh-oh. I'm going to bring my king over that way. Oh my god. 
He can't push this pawn. Dude, is he beating me because of he has he has two more pawns? I might actually be losing this game. All right, we really need to try with this end game. Okay, so here's an idea. If he pushes, we just take. If he ignores it, I take, and then I get in here, and I can... Oh, but then he's going to get my bishop. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Okay, yeah, let's do this. This makes the most sense to me. Because that gives my king something to attack. If he takes, we take, and then we get this pawn, and then we're just we're gonna hunt down these pawns. And if worse comes to worse, guys, bishop all the way to the corner, and as soon as he pushes the pawn, we sacrifice. Right? Okay, so now he can't go here, which is very important because I'm about to go there. He's going to go here, though. Oh, my God. I, I don't know, you guys. I really don't. I think I, I think I have to take. He can go here, but he can never push this pawn, right? Let's put our pawn on a light square in case we ever need to come defend it. Oh, that was a mistake, because now, how does he stop me? We got it, guys. He can't stop me. Yeah, and he's on the wrong side of my king. He can never win now. So we just go here, and we're going to promote. And easy game. Now, I'm very curious if this end game was blundered by my opponent or if I played it correctly. You know what I mean? Like if it was winning from the beginning and I played it correctly. Or if it was equal or something and then I also... Okay, so I did have a huge blunder where I basically gave him a draw. So yeah, let's, let's look into this. Interesting. Very close game. Bishop's opening. And we go after his bishop. This is, and this is just like the Italian. So think of it more of an Italian than a bishop's opening. And knight a5, we've seen that plenty of times. When, my, when your opponent doesn't play c3, you want to play this knight a5 move. All right, of course, computer says I'm crazy for taking, but whatever. Now, it's totally even, which you kind of expect in the Italian. It's a very even opening. And here, I mess up badly. My opponent found a fantastic move. I didn't expect that at all. And that move makes no sense to me. I guess it's attacking the pawn, but surely this would be better because... No, that, that blunders this. Oh, jeez. All right, so bishop h6. Yeah, I really blundered that, guys. And that's where I got lucky in this game. Man, that's always sad when you played when you think you played really well, but it turns out you completely blundered. Oh, so I should have defended the pawn instead of trading off rooks. Hold on a second. Let's let's see if that's really true. So we've got king f1. That makes a lot of sense. Start activating the king. Rook t6. 
takes c7. Huh? Wait. Oh, sorry, that's... Jeez, that's White's turn. <laughs> Wait, Rook takes c7. Why is... Why am I looking... Oh, jeez. Sorry. Here we go. So, best move is Rook c8. Second best move is what I played. They're so close that I'm totally happy with that. And this is where it basically became a draw, I think. Let's go back to the graph to see where we're at. No, 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 here I'm still winning. So I blundered in the end game somewhere, like the, the king and pawn and bishop end game. Ooh, interesting. Oh, wait, is it? Wait, why is that? It pins the pawn, but I don't really get it that it makes that much of a difference. Um, let's see. Take. Now the eval bar drops, so that might not be accurate. We've got to look at the lines. Rook takes f2 is the best move. b5. Now we swing back over here. e6. Ooh, that's, that's getting quite scary. Bishop d5. So now we're threatening that pawn. That's beautiful, because now this pawn can't advance, because we have a double attack. And I guess if this pawn advances, are we going to sacrifice? Let's see what happens. Oh, we're threatening a check. I didn't even see that. So that's the real threat here. If he pushes the pawn, we get a check. King is forced onto one square, and then we have a discovered... Whoa, rook b2, discovered check, and then we pick up <laughs> the pawn. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I yeah, that's that's hard to see for me. So anyway, back to the real game. Now I think we're getting close to where I blundered. No, we're not quite there yet. This was a long game. All right. Yeah, I f I wish I had found this move sooner. This puts a double attack on the pawn. This pawn can't go forward. And this pawn can't go forward. This freezes white's position, pretty much. Oh. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Here I'm winning a pawn, and he can't push because I get in here, and his king can't come closer. We have opposition, and I'm just going to win the pawn. He has no way to defend it. Wow. Okay. So are we are we there yet? We're okay. Here we go. I think it's like two more moves, and that pretty much gave my opponent the ability to draw if f takes. That's surprising because now king d four. Um. That's weird. Oh well, I mean, obviously I believe the computer. <laughs> um, apparently this is a draw. Very complicated. I probably, I don't know if I would have actually gotten the draw because he's got just all these extra pawns. This guy can't really move and this is gonna create a really tricky situation for me like if i go here is that j yeah no it's still okay yeah it's still a draw he just does that everything is a draw look at this bishop h1 king f5 very tricky all right guys well that's enough that is definitely enough 
good game to my opponent. That was a fun one. We both played quite well. That was just a very close game. Maybe because of the long end game. But hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.